Let's do 10 Swedish words. Fredagsmys. My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. In the olden days, we had chicken on Fridays. Uh, olden days being 15, 20 years ago. And we had Eltsoppa on uh, Thursdays. But nowadays, we have Taku on Fridays, which is very important. Uh, what you do for taku is that you steak, yeah, schutzfels, and uh, included in the meal is of course uh, bröd. You can use uh, hårda skal as well. You can see over here. Uh, then we have mais, we have salad, we have tomato, we have gurka, and we have maybe the most important thing, guacamole which uh, here is based on tomato and avocado. Yum, 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 very good. You, you moussard it into the bowl, and then you put it onto the bread, and then you put it in your mouth, and it's very good. Uh, you can also use uh, taco krydda. Uh, you can fill up a bowl of rivenost, very good to sprinkle on. Uh, we're gonna have fetaost from Greece. Uh, problem was that the fetaost was really bad. So we have to get new fetaost from the store. So as soon as the shitfest gets a nice color, uh, it will be clogged. And then we'll just have it sitta and putra for a bit before we put it in our stomach. And it's yum 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 yum. Unlike Midsummer, we don't sing any taco songs when we have uh, fredagsmus, I think. Mola. Ah, that's Italian song. But we can put uh, Italian olia on uh, when we uh, when we steak uh, the shitfest. It's very good. Thank you very much for watching this very professional uh, 10 Swedish words about making taco fredagsmus. I will see you next time you click on one of my videos. Bye bye!